good morning friends uh, welcome to our EJCAD forum in today's video we are going to learn how to uh, calculate the growth flow area net flow area using the zone tool so uh, let's get started starting with the toilet we shall use uh, the rectangle construction method and select the toilets one by one make sure you paste the uh, text in an area visible this one yeah uh, then let's also do this lower toilet no. yeah uh, make sure your text is visible um, uh, you can put it in a position where you you can easily see it uh, Here the challenge is that uh, uh, Toilet fixtures have uh, a white fill background so uh, the text is not visible So now maybe let's adjust dimensions so that the text is visible uh, Now let's go to the dining area uh, I write the area and put the text where it's visible uh, don't mind about the text we shall uh, change it afterwards we are going to change it from wc to dining yeah yeah we shall change it so let's first do all the spaces let's now go to the lounge yeah, still using the rectangular construction method. Yeah, select the launch, put the text where it's visible. Uh, let's also work on the uh, bedrooms. Uh, I'm looking for a color that suits this. Okay, let's first start with the kitchen. Yeah, kitchen. Put the text where it's visible. Um, kitchen extension then um, I think we let's do a uh, circulation space first yeah yeah put the text where it's visible uh, yeah yeah yeah, don't mind about the text I said. We shall change it uh, afterwards. Then um, uh, let's change uh, uh, the the launch space corridor. Uh -huh. Then uh, circulation corridor. Uh, dining. It's a single N. I think we have to make this correction here. Yeah. yeah. Then a uh, kitchen extension. Yeah. Then the main kitchen. Yeah. That is the main kitchen. Then also let's fill these other spaces, the bedrooms. I will select the color that you prefer. Maybe this one. No. So, rectangular construction method. Put the text where it's visible. Change the name to bedroom. Yeah. Uh, and also work on the master bedroom remember it's not rectangular so you have to pick corners yeah yeah you have to pick these corners here so that you get an accurate area that is 15 yeah in the guest bedroom uh, Pick these corners, put the text where it's visible. Yeah. And I uh, will serve this other bedroom at the top, bedroom two. Uh, let's also work on it. Uh, 
Okay, let's just do the farm tree. Um, yeah, pick the corners. Put the text where it's visible. Change the text to farm tree. Yeah. And um, let's do bedroom two. Yeah. Bedroom two. Put the text where it's visible. Yeah. I think you can also uh, name these according to uh, how they were named. Uh, uh, bedroom zero one, bedroom zero two. Yeah. And the guest bedroom can rename it. Yeah. And the kitchen extension. Yeah. I think that's all, but uh, we also have to work on the veranda. Uh, hope everything is okay. Now, let's also fill the veranda, pick those corners so that your thing is accurate. Put it where it's visible. Name it veranda. Yeah. So you can. Uh, pick parameters then put it in the position where uh, they have the similar uh, thing in. yeah I think that's all yeah I think now we are good to go we have uh, replaced the zones with the uh, the yeah, areas now go to the schedules. Uh, right click uh, elements and then a new schedule scheme limit zone. Click OK. Yeah, it's there. You've seen it now uh, for the criteria. I think. Uh, element type you have to select the zone but we shall go back later yeah. um, so now for the uh, fields you have to add fields that you want to be shown um, uh, select the zones that you want to be shown in your uh, schedule so you can select the zone name uh, you can select the zone number you can also select the measured area uh, there is all parameter but let's take the measured area I think uh, the zone category is not important so it's you can remove it then the zone number is also not necessary so let's take the zone name and zone uh, measured area uh, so I think the challenge is that we didn't select the criteria so let's first go back and select the criteria uh, element type is the zone yeah so uh, element type I think we, we have to select the zone it's not all types so you have to select zone where those elements are visible click ok yeah now we are good to go uh, now the challenge here is uh, the size of the text so I think we have to change it from uh, 3.50 to maybe 2 uh, 2 millimeters I think so that uh, they are visible so let's put it to and see yeah I think now we are good to go think now uh, things are clear so um, yeah you can decide to merge a uh, uniform items if you want yeah. uh, to avoid repetition uh, now the challenge that I'm seeing here is that uh, the bedrooms can't merge because we gave them different names so you can decide to rename them here 
reporting just bedroom 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 instead of having the guest bedroom bedroom 01 bedroom 02 just name all of them bedroom 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 so that they can be merged uh, yeah let's change that to bedroom even this one bedroom and this one also bedroom uh, then this one also bedroom yeah so go back to your schedule and see I think even the kitchen is just named kitchen so that they can be merged yeah the washroom the washrooms are okay I think now we are good to go so now you can merge and see a measured area of bedrooms corridor kitchen yeah yeah I think now that's what we wanted so uh, that's all thanks for watching and wait for the next tutorial in the next two weeks bye